Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Office. In today's video, I will show you an old school free method on how to back up your favorite Game Boy Advance game to your R4 card using the Nintendo DS. Do remember to subscribe to this channel. We have just crossed 800 subscribers and we hope that you can help us reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. The Game Boy Advance is one of the most awesome video game library across multiple genres. Some of my favorite Game Boy Advance games include Metroid, Mario Kart, Gunstar Heroes, Contra, and the Pokemon series. There were a total of 1,540 games released for the system since it was released in 2000. The Game Boy Advance physical cartridge is compatible to play on multiple Nintendo hardware such as Game Boy Advance AGP001, Game Boy Advance SP, Game Boy Micro, Nintendo DS, and the Nintendo DS Lite. After the Nintendo DS Lite, if you wish to play the Game Boy Advance game, you will need to purchase a digital copy of this game in order for you to play it on the DSi, 2DS, 3DS, New 3DS, and Nintendo Switch. In this video, I'll show you how to back up and extract your Game Boy Advance game ROM from the physical cartridge onto the R4 card using the Nintendo DS or Nintendo DS Lite. This is not the fastest way to do it, but it is the easiest and cheapest method as you may already have an R4 card and a Nintendo DS or DS Lite on hand. For this method, you will need an R4 Gold card with SD card. Check out the link on the top right or the third link in the description to see how you can set up your R4 card. Next, you will need a Nintendo DS or Nintendo DS Lite as these two DS models can read R4 card and can read Game Boy Advance cartridges. You will need a computer. In this video, I will be using a Windows 10 PC. Lastly, you will need a Game Boy Advance cartridge. This method will also work for Game Boy Advance video as well. Alright, use the second link in the description to download NDS GBA backup tools. The file will be in zip format so you will need WinZip or Windra to extract the file. Here, I have downloaded it onto my desktop. Extract the file. Here, I'm using Windra. Drag and drop the file onto the desktop. Next, go ahead and delete the zip file since we won't be needing it anymore. Next, insert your R4 SD card onto the computer. My SD card is Q drive, but yours could be different. Open up the GBA tool folder which we had just extracted. There are three files inside. Copy the two files and a folder and paste it onto the root of your SD card. There is nothing inside the GBA backup folder. This is the folder where the extracted ROMs will be saved from the cartridge. The two other files are the application backup tools. Once copying is done, safely eject the SD card and insert it back into your R4 card. Insert it into your Nintendo DS Lite and run the R4 card. Go to Game. Scroll until you find GBA backup tools. Press A to run the app. We will be backing up Metroid Zero Mission today. Insert the cartridge into the cartridge slot and press A to start. Keep pressing R until you reach the ROM backup section. In this section, the game ROM info will be displayed on the top screen. Press B and create new backup for your R4 card. Press A to start the backup. The backup process will take some time depending on the size of the ROM. Give it some time to run. Usually a 32 MB game will take between 3 to 5 minutes to copy. The backup ROMs will be copied onto the GBA backup folder. Let's speed this up. Once the process is over, on the top screen it will show the backup ROMs that has already been downloaded onto your GBA backup folder on your R4 card. Next, we will backup the game save. Keep pressing L or R to go to the save backup section. Since there is no backup file in the GBA backup folder, the top screen will indicate no file found. Press B and then press A to backup the game save. Now that we have backup our ROMs and save files, let's move over to the PC. Insert your SD card into the PC. Here I have the Visual Boy emulator which is the Game Boy Advance emulator for the PC. Click the link on the top right or in the description below to see how you can play your Game Boy and Game Boy Advance game on the computer. Now let's open the SD card and open up the GBA folder. Inside, there will be two files. .gba files will be the game ROMs while the .sav file is the game saves. Let's test out these ROMs on the PC using the Visual Boy Advanced Simulator. Open up the Visual Boy Advanced Simulator. Drag and drop the ROMs onto the Visual Boy Emulator. I have paired my Xbox 360 game controller to control the game in the simulator. When we enter the load game, you can see that the save files is available for load. This will take us to our last save checkpoint. Everything loads well and everything is in sync. 
Now that we have backed our Game Boy Advance ROM, we can play this Game Boy Advance game on your phone. Here I'm using a Game Boy Advance emulator on my Android phone. I will be making a video tutorial on how to play your favorite Game Boy Advance games on your Android phone soon. Do remember to subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified when the video get released. This Game Boy Advance ROM can also be used on the Sony PSP. I've made a video on how to play your Game Boy Advance game on your PSP. The video has more than 30,000 views. Click the link at the top right to watch the video. Alternatively, if you have a Nintendo DS console, you can also put the ROM in your R4 card. Check out the link in the description to see how you can play your Game Boy Advance ROMs from the SD card on your 3DS, 2DS and DSi. Personally, my favorite thing to do with this Game Boy Advance ROMs is to play it on my Nintendo 2DS as it can utilize the joystick. Personally, backing up these cartridges is more of a conservation purposes rather than piracy as you are able to play this game even after the cartridge stop working. And there you go guys, that's how you back up your Game Boy Advance cartridge using the Nintendo DS. There is an easier method using the Joey Jr. Dumper which I'll cover in the future video. With that, as always, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.